Do you utilize Dropbox and want to integrate it with JotForm workflows? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize Dropbox and JotForm workflows, you can now integrate the two together. Let me show you how simple this is. Top left hand corner, we're currently in my forms. I'm going to jump over into my workflows. Then top left corner, we'll choose create a workflow. And for this example, I'm just gonna do a simple one-step approval process. And you can see it created a very basic one-step process for us. So up at the top, we can see we have a starting point. It's a form. As of right now, we don't have a form. We need to choose or create one. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to complete settings. So all of the available forms are going to be listed here. If you do not see the form that you're needing up at the top, we can also create a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one from scratch on the classic form. And on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna bring in name, email, and phone number. And then we can change the name of this form to information update. Perfect. Now, if I jump back over into my workflow process, we see that form right here is updated. If we need to verify that it is the correct form, we can see that here. Perfect. But we can see right down here, once someone completes that form, it's gonna start that approval process. So right here, we can see we have either approve or deny. We have our approvers and we have our completion roles. We can either require a response from the majority, from all, from one person, or from a specific number of responses. I'm gonna go ahead and choose from one person for this. Then from here, it's either approved or denied, and then they get that approval or denial email. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the end down and I'm going to delete this link right here. And over on the left hand side, we have our elements. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to our integrations. Then right down here to Dropbox right here, it's going to send files and go ahead and put this right here and complete our settings. Now, if you've never authenticated your Dropbox account, you're going to want to do that here. I'm going to go ahead and add an action. And up at the top, we see we have enter folder name. So right here, it says form fields. I'm going to go ahead and change this to be information update, the same name of our form. And do we want it to create a subfolder for each submission within the information update folder? And yes, I do. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And as you can see right now, we have our submission ID. We can also add from our form fields as well. So if we want, we can add in that submission date. And then we need to tell it what do we want it to send to that folder. So here we're going to send the default to so the PDF version of our form. And if there are any uploaded fields from our form, we can add those here. So let's go ahead and choose save and we can go ahead and get these relinked. And then up the top, publish and open in a new tab. And that way we can give this a test. All right, let's fill this out and we'll do submit. And since we're already in JotForm, I'm going to go ahead and jump back over to our workflow process. And like I mentioned, we are in workflow builder. I'm going to jump back into our inbox. Now, if I'm not at my desktop or at my computer, I'm going to get an email from JotForm to let me know, Hey, someone has just submitted a form that needs your attention. So we can see right here, Sabrina Perkins is in progress. We have action required. We can view the information choose to approve or deny. I'm going to go ahead and approve. And we can see we have integrations running. Now, if we want, we can jump over to Dropbox, refresh it and find her information there. Or it's going to give us this nice little link right down here to where we can just click on it and it'll take us straight to that folder. And here is that submission within Dropbox. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your Dropbox account with JotForm workflows, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.